The tardigrade, the world's toughest organism. First, what is a tardigrade? Tardigrades, often called water bears because of their stumpy appearance, are water-dwelling, eight-legged, segmented micro-animals. They can be found just about everywhere. Mountain tops, the deep sea, tropical rainforests, and the polar regions. They're noted for being able to withstand extreme conditions that would otherwise be fatal to nearly all other known life forms. Tardigrades have survived being frozen and defrosted, roasted and boiled, zapped with gamma radiation, blasted with solar wind, placed in a vacuum, exposed to six times the pressure of the deepest ocean trenches, and starved of food and water for over 10 years. Why are tardigrades so hard to kill? Tardigrades harbour a flurry of unique characteristics that may account for their apparent indestructibility. They can mimic death. Tardigrades can enter a kind of hibernation known as cryptobiosis. They are able to survive in this suspended animation for a number of years. When reintroduced to a more temperate environment, they recover in a matter of hours. They can change form to survive without water. Tardigrades can dehydrate almost completely during cryptobiosis. When this happens, they replace water with a sugar called trehalose. As a result, they become impervious to environmental hazards. They can hide from predators. The tardigrade is one of nature's smallest creatures. The largest adults only reach a body length of 1.5 millimeters. The smallest are below 0.1 millimeters. Tardigrades can hide unnoticed by potential predators in sea sediment. Their mouths contain sharp daggers. Though they are minuscule, Tardigrades are fierce and even predatory. Their mouth contain dagger-like teeth used to spear algae and small animals. These teeth aren't actually teeth at all. They're called placoids. They've been to space and back. Thousands of tardigrades were launched aboard the Photon M3 spacecraft on low Earth orbit in 2007. Most of them survived exposure to vacuum, cosmic rays, and deadly levels of UV radiation. Some of the females even laid eggs in space the newly hatched young were healthy. They contain foreign DNA. 17.5% of a tardigrade's DNA come from other species. This is due to lateral gene transfer of DNA from plants, fungi, bacteria, and viruses. Most organisms have less than 1% foreign DNA. They are truly ancient. Tardigrade fossils have been dated to the Cambrian period over 500 million years ago. At that time, the first complex animals were just evolving. This means the tardigrade has far outlived the dinosaurs. <laughs>